Hey guys, we're going to go through the detailed step-by-step -step process of how to do this. You guys can follow the link in the description below to go through as we go through it. Thanks. So to start out, we're gonna be making three 48 inch long two by four boards. And so on this first one, I'm, you'll see me make a mark at 48 inches. And I like to put an X on the side that I'm gonna be cutting off. And this helps with any confusion as you're going through a cutoff list um, to make sure that you're putting the saw on the correct side. So you're not cutting the board too short or too long. So you see me making that first cut here. Um, I just set this over to the side and then move on to the second board. I'm making a second mark at 48 inches. Um, same thing with the X. And then once I make this cut, I'm just going to grab the second 2x4 board. I'm going to make another mark at 48 inches and then make the third and final cut. I'm going to set these aside and then I'm going to move on to 21 inch long boards. We're going to be making two of these. So you see me make the mark here and the X. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make this cut and then I'm going to make a second cut and I'll kind of fast forward this along. But these are going to be making up the sides of the workbench itself and so you guys are going to have after these cuts you're going to have the border for the top section of the workbench. So you see me setting this aside and now I move on to kind of creating that border of the workbench. Um, I aligned the 21 inch long boards um, in the middle and then the 48 inch boards are on the outside of the 21 inch long boards. And so I'm gonna put in two screws on each location through the 48 inch long board into the 21 inch long boards. So you see me going around and making all these. Um, these are three inch long screws. You can do shorter. It's just you want to make sure that you get at least an inch into the next board behind it. So now I'm grabbing the three quarter inch thick two foot by four foot plywood board. Um, you can go thicker or thinner. Uh, depends on your preference. Um, so right now I'm just drilling a evenly spaced pattern around to make holes clean and round so that I can install the screws um, into the underlying structure. So I'm using one and one quarter inch long interior construction screws here and I'm just placing it around the board so that I make sure that it's snugly fastened um, and secure. So now I'm taking the four by four board and I'm going to mark 34 inches and we're going to be cutting these for the table legs. Um, you just want to make sure that these are pretty precise, otherwise your table is going to be uneven whenever you install the legs. Um, and then these are from pressure treated 4x4 boards. You can, they don't have to be pressure treated, um, they just were at my local Home Depot, so um, they were the only ones in stock that were 4x4, so I just went ahead and grabbed these. So something super interesting happened here whenever I grabbed the third board. I noticed it was warped and had some stress built up inside of it, so I screwed it in. Now this is something you always want to do if you notice a board is warped because this board, while I was cutting, had so much stress in it that it stopped the blade completely. Now that's so much stress that if you have your finger in the wrong place or you don't screw it down, it'll actually grab onto the board and might throw it or your finger even worse. So what I do is I kind of flip it over and I just screw it in again and I just cut from the side that I had not cut yet. Um, that's just something to be aware of and definitely something to be aware of whenever you're cutting something that you can tell is warped or has built up stress inside of it. So um, you see me making the fourth cut here um, and then what you want to do is you want to take the, the legs that you had just cut and you just want to place one of them in the corner and using a three inch long hinge kit, it comes with three quarter inch long screws and one long three inch screw. It might be two inches, but you just wanna make sure that it's three quarter inch long screws and not one inch because otherwise it'll, it'll go through the plywood that you just installed and stick out the top and you just don't want that. So I'm putting the long screw that it came with into the, the wood leg itself. And so now I'm just gonna test it out. Just make sure that it's folding properly and then you can go ahead and 
and move on to the hinge supports. And so I'm screwing this into the interior side of the leg that we just installed. And these screws that come with it are definitely not anywhere near three quarter inch. They might be half inch long. And so I'm just testing the function um, and making sure that those are, are working. And now for the second interior leg, you just wanna place it four and one quarter inch from the inside of the board as you saw me just do. And I'm just making sure that there's clearance whenever you go to fold the legs down. That's why you want to place it there. So just kind of disregard the other two legs that are just kind of sitting there. Um, I was just trying to make sure that you guys had the correct order uh, to show that it was four and one quarter inch from the edge. Which is why in this clip you can see the second interior worktop leg installed. But it's three inches from the edge and this was before I found out that I needed more clearance. So. Um, I'm installing this one here, um, but we're just going to move along to the installation now after I had corrected that and I'm installing the hinge support um, on the interior side of the interior board. Um, and so I'm testing that function, making sure it clears the exterior worktop leg um, and just cycling through these and um, making sure it all works correct. Now here I am installing the second exterior worktop leg, just making sure it's in the back right corner. And if you guys are liking this, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm just trying to grow my channel and just see if the interest is out there for more videos like this. Um, I just love to do them and I would love to see if there's any interest. So now I'm gonna be moving on to the two x six board. I'm gonna be making two 13 inch long cuts and then one 21 inch long cut. I'm utilizing one 13 inch board and one 21 inch long board for the cross braces on the leg supports and then the other 13 inch long board is going to be used for the actual workbench wall installation so i'm making this last 21 inch long cut and i'm going to be installing the 13 inch long board on the two interior worktop legs and so i'm installing the three inch long screw on the top and the bottom here just to support it and then I'm gonna repeat on the other side. I'm using clamps here. Uh, you can just hold it with your hand, but the clamps make it easier just so it doesn't move while you're screwing it in. So now I'm gonna flip over to the other side and I'm installing the 21 inch long two by six board that we just cut. And I'm using the clamps again. And you may notice that the board is actually a little bit short. I end up fixing that later in the build, but I just had cut it a little bit too short. So now we're gonna be installing the two inch swivel casters and these have safety brakes on them and include screws and washers with the kit. So um, I'll provide a link in the description below um, with these. Um, they're actually really, really good and um, help just provide no noise and, and the brakes actually work, which with some other casters you may not get. Now, this is the part where I'm using the two x six board and I'm gonna mark a 54 inch long section. Um, and this is gonna be an English style leg support for the cross braces, just to keep some rigidity and structure to the workbench whenever it's um, folded out. So I'm marking uh, exactly at the location where the cross braces are. And you can see me marking uh, on each side just so I get a good idea of the of the actual dimensions because it may be different um, depending on where you put the legs um, on your build so I'm, I'm i'm using a two by four just to, or a two by six just to locate the exact lines and then i'm just going to mark it out just so i know exactly where to cut and i'm not adding any guesswork into the build so i'm doing this on the other side and then uh, you'll notice here I'm doing just the traditional method of using a handsaw and just cutting out the marks that I just made so that I can make a slot for the cross brace. Um, you can also do this with your miter saw, uh, but I just wanted to show that it's totally doable with a handsaw. So now I'm using a chisel. You can use a flathead screwdriver if you want because um, it's pretty soft. You're just making a cut or a, uh, a mark um, right at the edge of the line that you're going to be hammering out. And since 2x4s and 2x6s are soft wood, pine, you can just notch it out. And so I just did it on the other side and then test fit it and it all worked out. So now this is part of the build where we're going to locate the studs and use the previous 48 inch long 2x4 and screw it in right at the studs. And then grab the 13 inch board that we previously cut and just install it there um, onto the 2x4. 
and this is going to be the lower support for the workbench to actually be mounted onto. Now you're going to be taking the remaining section of the 2x6 board and you're going to make four 6 inch boards. They don't have to be exact but just general dimensions. Um, you're going to be using these to mount and latch onto the top part of the workbench whenever it's uh, lifted onto the, onto the wall. So here I'm marking out, I'm making a mark at the 34 inch location and then right above it I'm installing a drywall screw mount and so that way I can screw the longer screws into that location um, and then I'm going to do a, the same thing at the top um, and then rotate it so that I can get both of the screws into the screw mounts um, through the drywall. And then I'm just putting two three inch long screws into the diagonal location of the boards just to hold it in. And then I'm taking the six inch board that we cut earlier and just screwing that into the board below it. And then doing the same for the third one. And then the fourth one, I'm installing one screw right in the middle. And then as you can see, you can just rotate it around. And now you can try out your new workbench. So I'm putting the brakes on uh, just to keep it from moving. And then you just wanna lift it gently up against the wall and then rotate the latch. Taking the cross beam out and then just putting it on top and then folding it right up. And there you go. A little technical difficulty there. <laughs> So uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for following along. Um, if you guys want to check out the plans, uh, go ahead and click the link in the description. Um, it walks you through everything step by step and what to order. Um, and please subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I'm really, really excited about the potential of making a channel that you guys um, would like and include content that you guys would love to see. Okay, okay. you're just sweating that.